you know what? This is going to be simple, but it's something that's probably expected and we haven't done. So let's just build us a simple apple. We haven't done that yet. People wonder why I haven't built an apple. And because an apple is easy, it's, there's not much to it. There's not much to look at. So let's just model a quick apple to appease the um, new users of Moto out there that want to know how to do this. So the way I do it is I'm going to start with a cylinder with eight sides and eight segments. So let's go ahead and draw one out here. I'll make it 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters. And actually, let's give it seven segments instead of eight. We'll say eight sides, seven segments. And we'll pull it up like this. Now, don't wonder if you want to start with a cylinder, you can start with a cylinder. It's really up to you. Okay? So, okay, I'm going to start with about like this right here. Okay. Maybe I want to. Maybe I don't want quite that many segments. Let's see here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, that's okay. Spacebar, drop our tool, and let's start building this thing. I'm going to grab this polygon, go to polygon mode, grab the polygon, and I'm going to hit the R key to scale this puppy. And I'm going to scale this bad boy way in like this. Okay? And let's do the same thing to the bottom. Select the polygon, hit the R key, scale this baby way in. And when you're done, spacebar to drop the tool. Okay, now let's go in and shape this a little bit. So I'm going to go to my vert mode. Now if you notice, when I use my right mouse button, I can box or lasso select. But when I do use my right mouse button, I only got half of them. So what you need to do is use your middle mouse button to box select or lasso select. And as you can see, if I go to vert mode, that select will select all of them. Let's go ahead and do that. See, I use my middle mouse button, it selects all of them. My right mouse button selects just the one side. Now, alternatively, if we go to wireframe and use our right mouse button to select them, the same thing. Use your middle mouse button and we get them all. Okay? So I just wanted to cover that real fast. Just so you guys... um won't be wondering how come he's selecting all of them and uh, mine ain't so let's go ahead and go ahead and shape this let's go back to our vert mode sorry for getting off on a tangent there i already have those selected so let's go ahead and hit the r key and scale this in like so okay now let's go ahead and do the same thing on the bottom we'll scale that in okay you want to scale the whole thing you're more than obliged to this is really no magic number to this okay okay so let's go on and continue shaping out here let's take this one and we'll scale them out a tad then we'll grab these bottom middle ones here and let's scale these out like so let's just take this row now this is just a matter of scaling and sculpting and you know all that good stuff and let's take our one from down from that scale it in let's see here let's grab our bottom polygon and we'll pull it up like that Let's grab our top polygon, and we'll pull it down, like that. Let's go into smooth mode, and you can see we're getting our basic shape of our apple here, okay? So now, let's go back into polygon mode here. Let's take this, let's bevel it in, like that. Shift click, I want to bring it up, I want to shift click again bring it up and maybe push it over like that now we have us a little stem if you want to you can make you a uh, leaf by going to the cube let's draw us a cube out here I'll give it four segments in the X one in the Y and two in the Z as you can see what we end up with it cuts, it's ended up cut up like this 
So let's just go to vertices mode, hit the T key to go into element move. This way I can just grab these, oops, I can just grab these points here and shape them like that. So what I want to do is, I'm going to select those, command X to cut them out, and I'm going to put them on a new mesh. Just so I can work on a completely new mesh. So now I'm going to hit my T key, go into element move, and I'm going to try and shape this out like a leaf. You know, it don't have to be perfect. Just kind of fool around with it until you get the desired shape you're looking for. Using the element move makes it things a lot easier. And I'm just kind of basically roughly shaping in a little leaf because this has not got to be really accurate or anything like that. It's just got to be close enough to where the people know what they're looking at. Okay, that'll do. Now, let's... What can we do to it now? Let's um, select it. And... Let's give it a radial... Let's give it a fall off. Let's see. I'll go fall off. Radial fall off. I want to drag a radial fall off out here. Hit the W key, and when I move it, it's giving me a fall off, as you can see. Now it's looking like my leaf is kind of bent a little. Like so. Now let's go over here and right click in the tool top and say remove fall off, remove tool. Now let's run the, let's fire the thicken tool on this and thicken it up. Like so. So maybe we want to run a little loop slice down through there. Okay, now we can put our leaf in place. So let's select our leaf, hit the W key, and let's go right in here and just roughly place it. Let's even rotate it a little bit. Like so. And just position it to where you think it's going to work. Let's move it down a little bit here. And let's touch it in there. And there we go. We now have us a cheap, generic, quickly made apple right inside Moto. So why don't you all take it a step further and take a bite out of it. Why don't you uh, model in a bite out of this apple. So there's our apple in Moto. So here is my final apple with my lighted polygons and black polygons and everything. My studio set up. Go to render and this is what we got. I'm glad you all have learned something. I hope you have anyway. And um, I guess we'll see you next time. Later.